Well, we're a, it's a windy morning in a place called Vacaville, California, home to Travis Air Force Base. And we are waiting for something I'm still not completely certain will happen, and that is Spencer's release from quarantine, his second quarantine. At the Japanese port of Yokohama, 3,711 people, including 428 Americans, are quarantined on the Diamond Princess. The alert was raised when an 80-year-old from Hong Kong tested positive for the virus. On board the Diamond Princess, health officials cautiously removed another 41 people. The outbreak aboard a cruise ship in Japan is getting worse, with more than 130 cases confirmed. New numbers coming in. This cruise ship now has the highest concentration of confirmed cases of the virus outside of China. The roller coaster between the start of that and today has been dramatic, of course, and so um, I'm unusually uh, nervous right now because um, I've just really been looking forward to seeing him. Sorry. Hello everyone, I am coming to you from Yokohama, Japan, on board the Diamond Princess. Uh, I'm here with three of my friends, uh, all of whom uh, are getting our master's degrees in northern China. And we... The thing that I was most excited about about the cruise was just to have time to do nothing, uh, which is a little ironic considering I've now spent almost a month in quarantine. On the 2nd of February, it was around 6 or 7, and then they came over the intercom and said, hey, just so you know, there was a guy who got off in Hong Kong who's been confirmed positive for the coronavirus. Stay tuned for updates. On the 5th, they came and said, hey, you had 10 cases that were positive. You're under a 14-day quarantine. And that was early in the morning. I know this is not ideal. However, I know that uh, once again, I can count on your understanding and support to make this journey on board as smooth and comfortable as possible for everyone. I think initially I thought that 14 day quarantine meant, okay, we're going to be stuck on the boat for 14 days, but that we could like move around freely on the boat. And then it came out that we were going to be stuck in our rooms for yeah. 14 days. And that was a whole nother story. We had a complete lack of control over the situation. Um, there was nothing we could do and there was no one we could call that would be able to give us information. Further to my previous announcement, we have now been advised that the number of cases has reduced from 66 to 65, of which five were crew members. We are currently in the process of disembarking these guests and crew to medical facilities ashore. You, and do you know the story about the beard thing? Like, I don't have a beard. I never have had a beard. But the moment Spencer told me in Yokohama that they were going to be quarantined for four, uh, for 14 days, he, uh, he told me that. And I said, well, okay, here's what we're going to do. Your brother and your brother-in-law and me, we're not going to shave until you come back home to Canada. And, uh, of course, right after that, I thought, oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but then you can't take that back. So uh, we've had this... Uh, We've had this solidarity thing going on for a couple of weeks and then another couple of weeks. So um, I'll be happy to shave this with Spencer very soon. I'm uh, making this video just uh, as a way of uh, saying hi, uh, saying um, you know, I love you uh, to my family and friends. The first half of my quarantine on the ship, I was very much a champion for this quarantine being a success. I was a champion for the Japanese health authorities, for Princess Cruises. And so when I received this letter from the CDC that said, stay in your room, everything will be fine, I, I believed it. And so day nine rolls around, there's no mention of new passengers testing positive. Uh, we just got our first update from the morning uh, from the captain about an hour ago and he did not say anything about new cases being reported so that's great news same thing on day 10. one step closer to hopefully um, being able to disembark early but the the point in time that i realized just how off i was how wrong i was was actually about 15 seconds before a live televised interview 
67 new people have tested positive for the coronavirus on the Diamond Princess. Did you just say that there are 67 new cases? Is that what I heard? That's that's what we're reporting on CBC this morning. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I, I have not even been made aware of that. 285, that's the number. And it was in that moment and then after the interview as I was able to process it that I realized Diamond Princess, or Princess Cruises rather, had changed their strategy. We want to be as transparent as possible. So we're sharing what we know at this time for both our guests and our team. To trying to avoid creating a, a panic and actually hiding that information from us. I've spent all day today and yesterday thinking that there were no new cases. Just thinking out loud right now, I'm wondering if this quarantine is actually working on the ship. I personally felt betrayed in that moment. There's no doubt about it. You didn't need to have to tell you how many are sick. You could just count the ambulances. I'd go out and count 20 ambulances, 30 ambulances. These numbers are going very much in the wrong direction. In the early days of the quarantine on the ship, we kept saying, we're not safe here. Something is wrong. I sent a, a little Facebook message to a friend of mine, a major news producer in New York, and said, guess where we are? I started a Reddit post, which gained a huge following, and then thus we got a huge following in the media with that. And then just a lot of interviews, really. Yeah, Kind a of lot. trying to advocate for our situation and for everybody else. We stayed really busy on the cruise ship um, doing media and telling the story as we saw it. We're healthy. We want to go home now safely. The whole thing is here we are quarantined, healthy people and sick people in the same location. I think that whole idea that that's how you're supposed to do quarantine is crazy. Hundreds of Americans who have been quarantined for two weeks aboard a cruise ship because of coronavirus are ready to head home. A convoy of buses took passengers from the Diamond Princess uh, to chartered flights that will take them back to the U.S. So when we learned uh, from the U.S. Embassy that he was going to be evacuated and he'd finally get off that ship, I told Spencer, let's have it. We can't have a toast, but let's have a toast over uh, WeChat. So... That's what we did. That was uh, that was my place in Vancouver. I can't yeah. tell you how nice it was um, when the task force arrived to um, see people from the U.S. Um, and to hear like like the doctor <laughs> standing, Alabama, yeah, the it. doctor standing outside the tunnel. Um, they had like a big giant blue tunnel basically going out of the boat. And the doctor standing outside the tunnel, kind of directing us to where we were supposed to go it was from Alabama. So it was kind of nice to hear some Southern accents. <laughs> we just spent the last six hours on a bus that should have only taken 20 minutes. You can see there's a 747 behind me. I'm hoping to get on it and hoping to be in good old US of A here in about 13, 12, 13 hours. So can you imagine this guy saying, be calm, everything's fine, don't worry about it, you're safe, but I'm just gonna wear this outfit. <laughs> you know, nothing to see here. It's, it's surreal, there he is. Mr. Spencer. Hey there. Hey, are you, are you on the way? No, no, not yet. Uh, of course, it's... The bus is all just pulled up, though. We've just been standing in line for the last 45 minutes, but three, three big buses just pulled up. Uh, so I'm guessing these are all going to the different airports, and we're going to get in the van after everybody gets on the buses. But they're, uh, the, the, along with all the buses, the uh, bunch of, like, marshals and, like, suburbans and Tahoe's just pulled up and a bunch of police cars. So it's... It's, it's on its way. It's going to start happening. I'm, I'm about 10 feet, 15 feet away from the quarantine tent, so I'll, uh, I'll send you a text when I get officially get out, and then I'll give you a call when we're on the way. I'm on the bus. Haven't started moving yet, but hopefully soon. That was as of uh, two minutes ago. And uh, just like in Yokohama... Hopefully it's not a five hour wait again.
The flights were not supposed to include any passengers affected by the coronavirus. 14 of those Americans tested positive for the virus. We actually didn't know about the 14 passengers until we landed in Texas. Um, no one was told until we landed. All we knew is we're sitting on the buses for hours and hours and hours in the rain. On the tarmac, the planes are ahead of us and we don't know why we're stuck there. The State Department had knowingly put 14 people on those planes that had already tested positive. You know, going back to this, the moment that I found out that Princess Cruises was keeping information from me, it was the exact same feeling, realizing that the State Department kept that information from not only myself, but every other passenger on that plane. But what kind of concerned us the most is that we weren't really given an option. It was, hey, if you don't get on this plane, you don't come back until, quote unquote, a period of time. And, you know, now that we're here on hindsight on everything, we're really glad that we came. Really, really glad. When I first got to this hotel room, motel room, uh, it was hot. There was a leak in the bathroom. The the floor was slick, I slipped on it. And after that long flight and everything we'd been through, I just lost it. I had a tantrum worthy of one of my two-year-old grandchildren and said, I am not staying here, get me out of here. I know you have to go up pretty high. Yeah, it's gonna be on point. I think, but you, you can tell like when that. you're there when it comes out my ear. We adapted, we've adapted to the routine, to the rules. Yeah. They really run a very, very, strict quarantine here. They know what they're doing. Things could be a whole lot worse. There's so many little things that you take for granted, like the fact that you can just walk out your door and go somewhere that you want to go. And you realize that whenever you're stuck in a room for almost two months or however long it's 24 been. 24 days now. Yeah. We're ready to get out. Uh, the policies done on the Diamond Princess proved wrong. We, we can't let that happen again. And the psychological impact has to be taken into consideration as much as the sickness. And so, you know, it is different than the flu. It's so contagious, we don't even know how it spreads yet. Um, 711 people on that ship got sick and they just let it continue and continue and continue it's like walking through a landmine field and just hoping you don't step on a landmine. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very different than the flu, to say the least. I was speaking with my sister maybe three or four days ago, and she said, Spencer, when was the last time you were given a hug? When was the last time someone hugged you? It just made me realize how much value there is in having that close contact with the ones that you love, uh, how much value that, that brings to my life. Oh, he says we're here. Okay. Okay, that is unbelievable. Where are you at? Because we're here too, but obviously not where you are. He says he's by a Walmart and uh, Columbia Sportswear or something. So, let's go. Let's roll. There it is, right there. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh really? That is awesome! Oh, man, it's so good to see you. Oh, jeez. Is that you? It's me. Those yeah. Are... It's all in the... Is that yeah. you? Oh, what? Oh, my I'm gosh, a freaking dude. old man here. Oh, what the gosh. heck? That is... That is thick. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, to be able to give my dad a hug when he got out of the car was... Somebody's driving up here, though. I didn't, I didn't want to let go. I know, Crap. right? We're gonna have a toast soon. We're gonna have a toast soon. <laughs>